Okay. Good evening, everyone. I, I don't have Elton John tickets to give out. But um, I hope all of you have enjoyed your dinner. Um, my name is Hardy Vier, and I'm the legal director of Human Rights First. And I love my job. Um, so on behalf of our amazing, dedicated staff, go staff, thank you so much for your tremendous show of generosity this evening. Your support will help us in all that we do, but especially the work that I help oversee, helping asylum seekers escape persecution and find a new home and a new life in this country. I'm joined tonight by Mara Frankel Wallace to present our next award. Good evening. I'm delighted to be here tonight, along with my family, to celebrate and support four decades of incredible and important work. My father, Judge Marvin E. Frankel, was a founding member and longtime board chair of Human Rights First. His dedication to the organization's ideals was immeasurable. He believed passionately in the rule of law and the importance of pro bono work, lawyers using their considerable skills and expertise to help the most vulnerable. So for 40 years, Human Rights First has collaborated with pro bono lawyers to help refugees fleeing persecution find safety in the United States. It is an extraordinary partnership with the private bar, which last year alone resulted in an in-kind contribu in contribution of more than $62 million. I love lawyers. I love lawyers, too. Each year, Human Rights First recognizes the outstanding work done by lawyers across the country with an award named in honor of my father. This year, we honor four exceptional firms. Please hold your applause until we've announced all four of this year's Frankel Award winners. In our Houston office, we recognize K&L Gates for their, dedication, for their dedication and compassion when representing asylum clients. Recently, the firm won asylum for a Chinese woman who fled religious and political persecution. Her attorneys traveled hours to assist the woman who lives in rural Texas. The firm has shown exemplary commitment to supporting their clients' legal and emotional needs. The Los Angeles firm of Munger, Tolls, and Olson has displayed an unwavering commitment to accepting difficult cases with complicated fact patterns and legal issues. The firm has taken 15 cases since Human Rights First opened their Los Angeles office three years ago. They routinely step up and take the most difficult cases, deploying whatever resources necessary, including sending investigators to Central America to uncover facts and zealously represent their clients. The New York offices of Skadden, Arp, Slate, Mar, and Flom started working with Human Rights First over 25 years ago. They won the Frankel Award in 2006, and since then, Skadden has taken on 361 cases, annually hosts our asylum law training at their offices, and created a firm-wide initiative to provide high-quality in-house representation to assist asylum seekers and immigrants. And finally, in DC, Finnegan, Henderson, Farabo, Garrett, and Dunner have expanded their pro bono representation program and have consistently gone above and beyond to connect asylum-seeking clients to resources in their communities. Starting just this past August, Finnegan again raised the bar when they took on cases of refugees unjustly detained in rural Pennsylvania. Take a look at the work of tonight's Frankel Award winners. It's important that we recognize refugees' human rights and that America is a safe haven for them to come to. When I meet the clients and I hear their stories, it becomes the most important thing in the world to me to help them. You're making a oftentimes life or death difference in the life of that person. You meet people that have been through the most horrific circumstances and nonetheless they are sort of standing tall with strength and it's awe-inspiring. My name is Holly Henderson Fisher and I'm a senior associate at Skadden Arps. John Sullivan, I'm with the law firm of KNL Gates. My name is Joe Lee, I'm a partner with Munger Tolls and Olson. Danielle Dustician, associate at Finnegan. Justin Lafredo, I'm an associate at Finnegan. 
I was able to help a young man who was seeking asylum from Rwanda because of political persecution. I was able to help enroll him in a LLM law program and things have actually come full circle and he is now working as a legal assistant at Finnegan. The experience that stands out most fell well after the grant of asylum when my first client to be granted asylum on the grounds of domestic violence had fled her native Ecuador separate and apart from her very small children. And watching her be reunited was quite possibly the most meaningful moment in my life besides the birth of my own children. The first case I agreed to take on not knowing anything about asylum work was a case for a young 17 year old from China and he didn't realize it but his father had agreed that he would pay $65,000 as an addition servant. So we took his case on and during that process, which was a many, many month long battle, my wife was able to get to know him, really fell in love with the young man. And so once we prevailed on the case, we adopted him and he's uh, just such a fine young man. He graduated from college, has a graduate degree and is now working as a manager at a major pharmaceutical company. And we represented a transgender client from Mexico who had suffered terrible abuse in her home country. Her story involved an assault, after which she went to the police, and the police, instead of protecting her, also assaulted her. So we're in the trial, and when she got to the part of the story that was the most graphic, the government lawyer interrupted, and he said, I'm satisfied that the witness is credible, and the government will not oppose a grant of asylum. And that unexpected kindness has stuck with me to this day. It is a privilege and an honor to receive the Frankel Award. Finnegan and, and other firms, I believe, have an obligation to live up to the award by continuing to advocate for the important and lawful human rights of refugees worldwide. We're very honored to receive an award as prestigious as the Marvin Frankel Award. So I'm very grateful to my partners and my colleagues at Munger, Tolls & Olson for supporting the work that we do. Skadden is tremendously honored to be the recipient of the Frankel Award, and we're lucky that you trust us to be partners to do it with you. Ken L. Gates is honored that we have won the award this year. The firm really is behind everything Human Rights First stands for. I don't know if I could really pinpoint just one thing that's rewarding about working on asylum cases. There are so many things from seeing the world through the eyes of resilient individuals. You see the sheer humanity of another person. It's very rare that we as human beings have the opportunity to make that difference in other people's lives. I think we're in a time where it is critically important for lawyers to step up and fight on behalf of justice and represent those who need our help. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding law firms and their pro bono leaders. John Sullivan from K&L Gates. Adam Lawton from Munger, Tolls & Olson. Holly Henderson Fisher from Skadden Arps. And Danielle Duchessen from Finnegan. Congratulations.